Ever dreamt of transforming your backyard into a bountiful orchard? Welcome to our journey through the world of fruit tree care. From the humble beginnings of a seedling, we'll guide you step by step, leaf by leaf until your tree stands tall, blossoming with vibrant juicy fruits. We'll explore everything from selecting the right tree for your garden to the joyous moment of harvest. So whether you're an experienced gardener or just getting started, this guide is for you. Stay tuned to turn your dream into reality. Choosing the right fruit tree is the first step towards a bountiful harvest. As with any gardening endeavor, it all starts with understanding your environment and selecting the right species that will thrive within it. Let's start with climate. Some fruit trees are hardy, able to withstand harsh winters and freezing temperatures. Think of apples, pears, and cherries. Others like citrus and peaches prefer warmer climates and can be sensitive to frost. Next, consider your soil type. Fruit trees require well-draining soil to prevent root rot. While most trees can tolerate a range of soil conditions, some have specific preferences. Blueberries, for instance, prefer acidic soil, while figs thrive in alkaline conditions. Space is another crucial factor. Keep in mind that fruit trees need room to grow both above and below ground. Standard-sized trees can reach heights of 20 to 30 feet and require the same amount of space for their root systems. If you're working with limited space, consider dwarf or semi-dwarf varieties. These smaller trees are perfect for small gardens and even containers, providing the same sweet rewards without overwhelming your yard. Now let's not forget about pollination. Some fruit trees are self-pollinating, meaning they can fertilize themselves and produce fruit on their own. On the other hand, some trees require a partner to cross-pollinate and bear fruit. If you're planning on planting only one tree, make sure it's a self-pollinating variety. Lastly, consider your personal preferences. Do you have a soft spot for sweet cherries or a passion for tart apples? Your fruit tree should not only suit your garden but also your taste buds. Remember, the right tree in the right place is the key to a fruitful harvest. Take the time to choose wisely, and your garden will reward you with seasons of sweet, homegrown fruit. Now that you have chosen your fruit tree, it's time to get it in the ground. The first step is to dig a hole. It should be twice as wide as the tree's root ball and just as deep. This gives your tree plenty of room to expand its roots, anchoring it firmly in the soil. Make sure to keep the top of the root ball level with the ground surface. Planting it too deep or too shallow can cause issues down the line. Next, you'll want to prepare your soil. If it's heavy clay, consider adding some organic matter like compost or well-rotted manure. This will improve drainage and provide your tree with essential nutrients. For sandy soils, organic matter will help retain moisture and nutrients. Now let's talk about spacing. Proper spacing is crucial for your trees to grow and produce fruit optimally. As a rule of thumb, standard-sized fruit trees need about 20 to 30 feet of space between them. Semi-dwarf trees require 15 to 20 feet, and dwarf trees need about 10 to 15 feet. But remember, these are just general guidelines. The specific spacing can vary depending on the type of fruit tree. Once your tree is in the hole, backfill it with the soil you removed earlier. Firm it gently around the base to eliminate any air pockets. Then, water it thoroughly. This not only hydrates your tree but also helps the soil settle around the roots. In the first few weeks after planting, your tree will need plenty of water. However, be careful not to overwater as this can lead to root rot. A good rule of thumb is to water deeply once a week if there hasn't been significant rainfall. With your trees in the ground, the journey to a fruitful harvest begins. But remember, planting is just the first step. Proper care and attention will ensure your trees thrive and reward you with bountiful harvests for years to come. Taking care of your fruit trees is as important as planting them. It's like raising a child, you don't just bring them into the world, you nurture them, guide them and help them grow. And in the case of fruit trees, that growth leads to a delicious bounty. Pruning is one of the most essential parts of fruit tree care. It's more than just a haircut for your tree, it's a way to direct growth, remove dead or diseased wood, and increase airflow and sunlight to the tree's interior. This ultimately promotes better fruit production. Pruning should be done in late winter or early spring before new growth starts, but after the worst of the winter cold has passed. But pruning is just part of the equation. Another key piece is fertilization. Fruit trees, like all plants, need nutrients to grow and produce fruit. The right fertilizer can provide these nutrients and boost your tree's health and productivity. Generally, a balanced fertilizer with equal parts nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium is a good choice. However, specific nutrient needs can vary based on the tree type and soil conditions, so it's wise to get a soil test to guide your fertilization strategy. Of course, water is another critical element for any tree, but there's a balance to strike. 
Too little water and your tree may struggle to survive and produce fruit. Too much water and you risk root rot and other problems. Generally deep watering is preferable to frequent shallow watering. This encourages the tree to develop deep roots, which can help it withstand drought and other stresses. And don't forget about mulch. A layer of organic mulch around the base of the tree can help retain moisture, suppress weeds, and add nutrients to the soil as it decomposes. Just be sure to keep the mulch a few inches away from the tree trunk to prevent rot and pest problems. Remember, a well-cared-for tree is a happy, fruit-bearing tree. With the right pruning, fertilization, watering, and mulching practices, you can help your fruit trees thrive and enjoy the fruits of your labor for years to come. A healthy tree is less likely to fall victim to pests and diseases. That's our mantra when it comes to maintaining a thriving orchard, but even the healthiest trees can sometimes fall prey to nature's little troublemakers. So let's talk about how to keep those pests and diseases at bay. When it comes to organic solutions, companion planting is a fantastic method. By planting certain plants like marigolds or garlic near your fruit trees, you can deter pests naturally. You can also whip up a homemade spray using one part dish soap to 10 parts water. This soapy mixture can help to keep aphids and other small pests off your trees. But what if you're dealing with a larger issue like a fungal disease or a particularly stubborn pest? Well, that's where chemical solutions come into play. Fungicides and pesticides can be effective, but remember they should be used sparingly and as a last resort. If you're not sure which product to use, it's always a good idea to consult with a professional. They can help you identify the problem and recommend the most effective solution. Prevention, of course, is the best form of defense. Regularly inspect your trees for any signs of pests or disease and act quickly at the first sign of trouble. With these tips, you can protect your trees and ensure a healthy harvest. The moment you've been waiting for, it's time to harvest your fruits. Recognizing when your fruits are ripe for picking is key to your harvest. Each fruit has its unique indicators. For instance, apples and pears often detach easily when lifted and twisted, while citrus fruits become vibrant in color and slightly softer to touch. It's important to harvest gently to protect both your fruits and your trees. Use a basket or a soft bag to prevent bruising, and always leave a small portion of the stem on the fruit to extend its shelf life. Remember, the timing of your harvest can affect the taste and texture of your fruit. Picking too early might yield unripe, sour fruits, while waiting too long can result in overripe, mushy ones. And one last tip, don't rush to pick all your fruits at once. Most fruits ripen gradually, so frequent smaller harvests often work best. Now that's the sweet taste of success. Now that you have harvested your fruits, the fun really begins. Imagine the satisfaction of biting into a juicy apple or a sweet, succulent peach that you've grown from your own backyard. It's a feeling of accomplishment that's hard to match. But don't stop there. Unlock the culinary possibilities of your homegrown fruits and let your kitchen be the playground. Transform your freshly picked apples into a heartwarming apple pie. Or make a batch of homemade jam from those sun-ripened strawberries. How about a refreshing lemonade from the lemons right off your tree? The options are limitless. Remember, every fruit you grow and every dish you create is a testament to your patience, hard work and love for gardening. It's a journey that extends from the soil in your garden to the food on your table. From tree to table the fruits of your labor never tasted so good. With the right care your garden can flourish into a lush, fruit-bearing oasis. From the moment of selecting the perfect tree for your garden, through the phases of planting and essential care, all the way to managing pests and diseases, the journey is truly rewarding. And let's not forget, the joy of harvesting and using your homegrown fruits is unparalleled. It's time to sow the seeds of your future harvests. Thanks for watching our guide to fruit tree care. Happy gardening.